shambles Yo, I've been itching to write a verse So throw me a pen, I'm cocky So go ahead and quote me again, poppy My style full of substance like opium dense You gotta hustle if you out for them copious ends But that's more truth than most of you geeks can handle I saw kids like Miyagi when he was teaching Daniel Young is trying to get in the door but can't reach the handle Say you in the street but you somewhere on a beach in sandals Why dudes talk like they fly in their wallets empty Mention it, they say you hating and they call it envy Y'all offend me yeah, your scriptures bore me You spitting stories and acting like it's all for memory Fraud is claiming some dues that they never paid Fucker, I sold the first beat I ever made Plus I got props on my first bars written And for the fact that every beat I craft is hard hitting Um, Ayo, I'm Theon And I'm from San Francisco, California I moved out here, uh just over a year ago for the print media technologies course at HTM. I had some uh, background in screen printing already um, and I had started a little uh, clothing company called uh, Forum, like 4EM, which means for them, for the people. And we have a saying back home that's a uh, sorry forum. Like if something shitty happens, it's like, oh, sorry forum, you know? Uh, I had several names over the year. At the moment, I'm writing uh, Zeke, Z-E-A-K. I came up with it because those are my favorite uh, letters. How did I become a graffiti artist? One of the guys I was in school with, his father was um, like a high tier guy from Duplicolors, which is a spray can manufacturer from Germany. And he showed me like uh, videos of graffiti artists and uh, showed me some of his pictures uh, and pieces and I was completely flashed because I used to draw letters already in school and then there was like a name to it, graffiti, and that's how I became a graffiti writer. I've been skateboarding since I was five or six years old. I've uh, come to know a lot of uh, skateboarders who are doing graffiti and there's a lot of overlap in the subcultures. I'm just using these um, conventions or like inspiration from graffiti letters and also using um, spray paint quite a bit to be able to cover normal objects instead of having to paint over it. My style, I, well, it's hard to explain actually because there's like, everyone has their own style. There's old school wild style, new school wild style, uh, semi wild style. I'm writing graffiti 10 years now and I'm still in the process of finding my own style. Mine's like a little bit more simple, but still uh, not like straight letters. I try to stretch them a little bit, make them a little bit bigger and stuff like that. There's no purpose for, for what I'm doing or I'm not trying to make like a representation of something that exists. Like I'm not going out and painting like houses or something like this. Uh, painting, a painting of a house. I would describe my artistic style as uh, very messy and without direction a lot of the times. I'm just kind of trying to to start and to be making shapes and colors and lines over and over each other like with one layer at a time until I don't hate what I'm looking at. I'd say my biggest inspiration is Pablo Picasso because he was real original street artist, you know? Graffiti culture in Stuttgart um, is different to other places in a lot of ways. A couple of years ago, there was not a lot going on. There were a lot of painted trains. There was a lot of painted uh, Autobahn um, bridges. There was not that much street bombing, so it, it changed, but also the quality changed. Like other cities have more quality riders uh, than Stuttgart. Most of the quality graffiti riders from Stuttgart are so old nowadays. They usually only paint legal graffiti and do commissions, uh, pay their rent with graffiti. 
Um, they don't exist so much back in the U.S., but out here there's quite a lot of open spaces where you have the freedom to take time to make a piece and, and really to paint for a few hours and make something really awesome. Uh, right now we're sitting in front of a piece I dedicated to one of the homies. There's uh, police looking for him, other people are looking for him because he owes them money. So he went into the underground because uh, he can't live in Germany anymore. There's a lot of dangers uh, doing graffiti, like getting caught by the police, getting caught by um, the train security getting caught uh, by other graffiti writers depending on where you're painting. Then of course if you paint Autobahn or uh, the train system you can r get run over by trains, by cars. In Berlin for example they have uh, third rails which means there is uh, electricity flowing through the rails instead of uh, above the rails. And a lot of people I know are like really addicted to some drugs or shit. Do you think graffiti is art? Most times it's art, um, especially out here in Stuttgart where they're more interested in doing um, pieces out here and having like a lot of colors and really taking the time to make it look nice um, and to really make it pop. Graffiti can be art. Uh, it always depends on the graffiti writer if they want to have it art or not. Some of my homies say uh, they do vandalism, they don't do art. In other parts of the world there's this big emphasis on just tags, which is just you're using one color and just writing a word fast. And then this isn't really art, you're really just uh, you know, somewhat destroying property. I think people make graffiti because it gives them a, a sense of freedom and there's really no conventional rules or standards of what your art needs to look like to have it displayed somewhere because you're not most times getting permission to have the art displayed there. So it's like using a whole city as an art gallery instead of just an art gallery. It's more like forcing uh, your art to be within the public eye instead of asking. I think that often people who are doing graffiti, their goal is to build themselves up to be like larger than life and to be the most up artist in whatever place, you know, to have the most pieces and to have pieces that are running. And I think a lot of times it's really feeding into their ego because, you know, you're doing something where you're, you're writing your name essentially and then you're trying to make yourself well known. I'm painting 10 years, I'm still not satisfied with my pieces. I know people who paint 30 years, they're not satisfied with their art. So uh, if someone who has no idea comes by and tells me, oh, it's not art, it's just vandalism, it's just like uh, some stupid shit. I don't give a fuck, actually. It's not about art, it's about like revolution, uh, vandalize, and uh, freedom. Hop on the ride, 25 cent corn popped in, then I'm going for a spin. I'ma fall off, fall off in the carnival. 
flung 30 feet across the carnival floor. I'm bopping, busting, I'm carnival, mad at teeth, grind gears like the crunch and have it four in the morning. In my socks on the bus, banging some bitch I met on the corner, just hanging, slanging rocks. Her teeth smashed out with rocks, met the lean crystal blowing slow with the stick on standby, loaded up, capped in the back pocket, back. Then we smoke some drugs up on the corner. Waiting for the crack lady to come back and find me tripping out on corners, buildings, falling rubble.